All right, here we are back with another breaking cruiser news. We'll let my partner in crime. Uh, breaking news, the repairs, this is per Matt at Royal Caribbean blog. So there's your credible source, not us. Uh, <laughs> For some reason you're watching this, you know who he is. Uh, the Icon of the Seas has just finished its repairs and maintenance from the unexplained maintenance issue, which, and we'll enter, we'll only miss one week of cruising and it will be back in service for the October 5th cruise. And the rumor, I think they think it's propulsion issues. That was the, yeah, rumor, they have never officially said what it was. So, I, so the ship was sailing really slow coming back on the last cruise it did, had to skip some ports and was moving at a really slow speed. So they think it was propulsion. So, uh, so yeah, it is back in session. They only missed one cruise. It was done in the Bahamas area, and it is uh, hopefully fixed. And back, this had to cost them a lot of money. A bunch of money. Yeah. Um, because they did a 100% refund of the, what you, well, of what you paid. But you know, as you know, I know that's expensive. And then they did a, if you booked your flight separately, like not with Royal Caribbean, you got $200 per guest. Which probably didn't cover it. Probably not. And I think that was may have been for hotels and stuff combined. And then they also give you 100% of what you paid in addition to your refund. They give you 100% future cruise credit. It's a great deal. I, was, I read that. I got hoping mine would get canceled. <laughs> you know, cause all um, you got to do is go on another cruise if available out of that port. Yeah, I'm sure the, they'll work with you on that. The one caveat, sort of the asterisk to the future cruise credit was you had to book your cruise within 14 days. Yeah. So they are kind of putting your, your some pressure down. Yeah. We had one of those years ago on Celebrity Views, and yeah, there's a clock on most of them. Um, so, but yeah, the ship's back, so hopefully that's whatever it is, hopefully they'll fix it before yeah. the star of the season gets out. And if for somebody who, while we're on the topic of Icon of Seas, for somebody who's tracking their prices daily, yeah, I do what, check it every day. Uh, what is the ballpark range for going that? Backwards? Well, inside room for two adults is about, you're going to see 3500 bucks roughly. I mean, you know, in that range, $3,400, $3,500 for inside room. I mean, you know, we have the kids sell free program, so they pay taxes and fees, fees, you know, only. So, you know, at 37, 38, the cheapest I have seen it was, uh, it was like, uh, like about $1,300 each or something. Yeah, like, like $2,800. And it was the week we wanted to go, but little one was still too young. Da, 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 da. So yeah, that's the cheapest I've seen. It was in the, you know, $3,000 range. So, uh, and for example, the new MSC, I was just looking at World America Cruise coming out, brand new ship in April of 25. You can sail on it for $2,300, the inaugural week practically. Yeah. So, I mean, that, you know, yeah, so, so there's a big difference in price on the place. Yeah, so if you're going on a Carnival or a Norwegian, you're probably looking at, what, two to three times? Yeah. You go on two to three cruises. Well, Norwegian's pretty that. pricey too, but yeah, uh, Carnival's reasonably priced for that type of stuff so yeah so yeah all right but, yeah, that, breaking news the icon is back icon of seas is back let us know if if you have been on it and if you think it would be worth paying the extra extra money